Welcome to another process video from Freddie and myself. Let's use up our scrap, scrap fabrics and make some puffy hexagons. First of all, cut yourself a little hexagon template. You can get that on Google. Google Images, cut yourself out from wadding or felt or an old jumper, anything you can find really. Here's the template that I used all those years ago, 70 years, 70 years, I mean back in the 70s. <laughs> Was from an old greetings card. I've stuck that down, but I've I've traced around it for my for my for my template now. Oh. I like to use old greetings cards. They come in handy. There we are, and and then it's just a case of sewing on. Oh, look at this, this one. I've been using all the leftover, leftover hems and lines of fabric. You know when you get them, I think you can't use these bits. I've been using those. And the salvage edges. This is a pretty one. It's got birds on it. So I have this this one on the go. And I can just add to this throughout the day as I find things. And look, I've got some with Savage Edge with numbers and little coloured dots. So that's going to be lovely. They're like little sampler hexes, aren't they? The other thing I've got on the go, I'll do it with this one. Let me find myself some cotton. Oh, look, Flo's looking after it for me in her pin cushion. Oh, oh, thank you, Flo. I've got this. It was, it was a bed sheet. It was a whole bed sheet. And, and this ball was about that big to start with. And I snipped the bed sheet and then just went round and round and ripped it round. And then when I got to the corners, I just did a little snip and then continued. So it's one long ball of cotton from from a bed sheet and then I dipped it into tea. Now the outside of the ball was a lot darker as I've got into, I soaked it for quite a while and then just dried the ball, didn't unravel it, just dried the ball in the sun one summer. And then the outside of the ball was a lot darker than this. Let me put it up against white. Where's some white? So you can see it's still fairly nice and antique looking, isn't it? And I just sewed this on here round and round. Let me show you. Until it looked like this. Because this is slow stitching, any stitch goes big, small. There's no, with slow stitching, there's no right or wrong. And this is like a big experiment, really. I'd like to take that experiment a bit further. Let's put some watercolor on this.
just going to simply dab some dab some colour on this. Got the red, bit like a rosy pink maybe. This is the white. You can top up these little travel packs. You get the the refills. I haven't put it in yet. Oh, lovely! And then just. I'm just going to paint this. Lovely. This is a very gentle way to paint. Gentle way to create, really. Again, no right or wrong. It's fun just to play, really. That's what I love about it, no right or wrong. Make the colour quite dark and I'm just going on the edges. I've got these linen buttons here. I got that when I went to that big haberdashery shop in London. Got these linen buttons. Now my auntie collects vintage linen buttons and we got her some on Etsy for her birthday but I thought oh if I buy these they're going to be really nice to paint now you could paint a little flower on them I'm just painting mine pink ready to go on the um actually let's do a little flower shall we oh it sort of oh it blends in because it's wet oh i love that i'll do a little flower on another one but i thought that would just go so nicely in there customizing we're customizing things I'm going to let this dry and then I I might go around in pen. Let's see. Or oh, then when that's dry, I can do some more little leaves. I've got fabric here and I'm just literally. Well, I've got this on the brush. I may as well paint some flowers on this fabric ready for another project. Some gold would be beautiful added to this, don't you? Oh, lovely. Just doing the edges. Lovely. Oh. So relaxing. I'll add more and I can add some little dots. I'll have to let this dry thoroughly before I can... Oh, I put gold around the edge. I'll have to let this dry before I can... Oh, lovely. Before I can sew it, sew the button on. You can see when I start to relax, I can... Barely put one word in front of the other because I'm just relaxing down so much. Slow stitching meets playful watercolour. I love that.
But these little machines, they're called featherweights. Yeah, Aren't they that's gorgeous? What they're called. Yeah, and I'm here with are you Mr. Rodwell? Ridgewell, my name's Colin. Ridgewell. Colin. Oh Colin. Hi, Colin. Colin has an amazing collection of singer sewing machines. <laughs> Colin, this one is in the British One very similar to that in the British Museum. British Museum. Wonderful. It's a, called a fiddle bed. A fiddle bed. Oh, they're wonderful. What a wonderful collection you have. Thank you. No trouble. <laughs> when they're all sewn, slow stitched, I'll finish this one later. I get a little tab like that. Yeah, I can add these little bits later. I'd like to show you how I make it into a hexy puff. Pin that on, actually, I'll do it on the outside so I can take the pin off. Pin that to the outside. Gonna make it all puffy now. Cut yourself another little hexagon using the template. And then I've got my jar here full of all the little bits and pieces. Now some of these are bits and pieces of wadding and filling. So let's get those. I think that might be enough actually. Lovely little jar. Coffee came in this. It's all a Keeley pattern and I love it. Very 70s vibe. So it's not lumpy bumpy. Cut your filling up into very small pieces. Pop the stuffing in there. They can be as puffy as you like. Now I've been watching someone doing have you ever seen these i'll leave a link and she's making knitted hexi puffs i've been fascinated by that people make them into whole quilts now you could make these hexi puffs into whole quilts but i'm just i'm just experimenting and making a few I've actually made mine again into little hang on pin cushions. And then it's just a case of oh it's all raw edges, sewing it round. I've got the chenille needle again because that just goes through the layers so beautifully. Big and small stitches, no right or wrong. Mm. You can see this one. I've just put lots of little scraps and lace and some of it's hanging over the edge too. So it's all round and you have a little hexy puff. Hmm. Yeah. I'll have that for dinner later. Yeah, yeah. you again my little patchwork book I had in the 70s oh I've got another video I'll link that below oh yeah look 19 1977 and there was obviously a BBC TV program I must have watched it and then gone and got the book oh isn't it lovely 
I'm so glad I still have it. I did do some a hexagon. Let me think. It was a floor cushion. Yeah, in this back in the seventies. Oh, I'd like to do that actually. Mm. Oh look, absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh, lovely. Tea. Would you like some tea, Flo? Laura, oh, oh, oh dear. Let's pop the lid back on. Tea staining everything, Flo. Ah, oh, enjoy your cup of tea. So I'll put one on my bag and I'm going to put one in my Hexi journal. Still creating my Hexi fabric journal. Not sure how it's going to go together yet, but well yeah that's a what it's a work in progress the covers are from our lovely lizzie i'll link her below flo reads the comments too and somebody had mentioned that bees and, and hexagons and nature they all go together so well so flo's doing a lovely honeybee page in her slow stitch journal aren't you flo these have been such fun to create. I love how colourful they are, but they're very, because they're all stuffed. <laughs> they're very, they're very soft in, in your hands to create. Hmm. I've got some chocolate cake. I made a chocolate cake yesterday and it's a chocolate Malteser cake. I haven't, I didn't have any more teasers. They're one of my favourite sweets. But I do have Horlicks, which is a, a malt drink. And this used to be Sam's favourite drink. You, you make hot milk, you boil hot milk, and then you add Horlicks powder. It's a malt and it's got vitamins and things in it, I think. And... But he used to call it hoix, hoix. He used to have a little cup with a, a lid on and he used to say, toddle along and say, hoix, hoix. <laughs> he had that before he went to bed. Oh. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day. Oh. Just fancy, are you, are you like that sometimes? Just fancied a little bit of chocolate cake. So I thought, oh, let's do some baking. <laughs> oh, it, it always makes the house smell nice, doesn't it, if you do some baking as well. Mm. I'm collecting together here in this little tin some boho bits and pieces. I... I've been watching Aunt Beck's creations. I'll link it down below. Next week, she's, well, she's started already. She's doing a six by six square. And I think she's going to put hers in a shadow box. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with mine yet. They could make like a little fabric journal cover or something, couldn't they? And I'm collecting together lots of nice boho -y, bits and pieces of fabric. I'll have to get some beads and ribbons too. So for that project, so that's what I'll be sewing next week. Oh, thank you so much for spending this time with us. <laughs> it's been lovely, absolutely really relaxing. Mm. Are you doing slow stitching at the moment? I do find my crochet, I found myself crocheting this morning when I first woke up, just on that scarf, that purple one, just I'm doing any stitch on it that I feel like doing at the time. So it's just like a single crochet, keeping it simple. Yeah. 
Shall we light a candle? Mm. Just a little bit of peace and quiet in a in a busy world. I know that you've got people on your hearts. And... Well, I'll say goodbye. Take care, everyone. Yeah, I've got the camera actually turned on. It's called oh. Auntie Jennifer. Isn't it dinky? And it's just that little light. Yeah. Oh, that's when it's quite dim, isn't it? Because obviously. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, electric. It's so it's dinky, beautiful. though. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. What do you think, Freddie? Here we go. I'll turn it round. Oh, turn it round, yeah. Motor. We don't think it's been used much, do we? No, I don't think it has. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the man's name and decoration on it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, Jennifer Such. said some people decorate theirs mm. and paint them with colour, but she says she's going to keep hers. Yeah. I love. I love. I mean, it would be her machine, but I. I love. I love it like it's that. Awesome. Yeah, mm. yeah. Tea for two. Do you take milk, Jennifer? Oh, it's not a good pourer. <laughs>